Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. How are you doing today? I am doing well. I appreciate you talking to me about this. I love the Adams Family. I loved the old TV show. I loved the live action movies. I have so much fun with these animated movies. And I'm curious, how do you channel your inner Wednesday? Is there anything you do to immediately get back into her voice and her mindset? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing is 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 just trying to really figure out her intonation and her her kind of vocality on vowels. You know, I think something that I really found in the first movie that surprised all of us was her strange pronunciations of words, you know, like cell phone and like how she's never probably said those things before. So I really tried to focus on that and kind of get into the space where she's still observing and understanding and, and you know, coming into the 21st century almost, you know, she's like pulled out of the 1700s and like put into the 21st century almost, you know? When you voice her, do you do anything to get into character? I mean, even though this is animated, and we don't see you, do you dress a particular way or do you change your physicality when you're voicing her? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, uh, you know, they always record us while we're, while we're uh, doing our, our, our voices because they actually map it into the animation a lot of times what we do with our faces. So I, I'd love to see those recordings because I do get really into it. 100% like you, you know, you start to kind of like do little things like her and like do her weird little like things with her face. And so a hundred percent, you know, I think you have to get into it. You have to physically get into it because um, if you don't, it just sounds flat. You know what I mean? I think when we speak in real life, we're very animated, you know, a little bit of a little, I guess there's a pun there somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> but so when you're doing animation, you have to be as animated as you are in real life, if not more so. Um, so trying to up the ante while also playing a character that's predominantly monotone. Um, so trying to, to, you know, walk that, walk that tightrope. Even though the Adams family are so well known and so iconic as characters, this version feels a bit different. Mm -hmm. So what do you like about her look and her personality and this specific Wednesday. Yeah, you know, that was something that was really fun at the start of this is I think we all really wanted to shirk the different types of atoms that had come before us and really start to add a, a new flavor to it. And that was something that I, I um, was kind of told by them early on. I was like, how far can I go with my own kind of take on Wednesday? And they were basically like, run with it, you know, go for it and see where that lives with you. Um, and so I really tried to find my own Wednesday and, and, uh, and, and find something different for audiences, because that's something I really love watching remakes and stuff like that is when people do have their own take on the character um, and, and their own kind of pace on the character. So that was something that we, we really wanted to modernize and see what that looks like taking the, the girl from, from the, the time period and putting her into a more modern outlook and how much she also feels like a fish out of water within that. Wednesday has a bit of an identity crisis in this film. A little bit. <laughs> Did seeing her try to fit into another family just really sort of help solidify why she belongs in the Adams family for you? Oh, for sure. I mean, her with the turtleneck and lab coat, like no way. That is not Wednesday Adams. Um, you know, and, and then her calling Morticia Morticia instead of mother. I was just like, ah, no, like, don't do it. Um, but a hundred percent, you know, I think she is, even if she wasn't blood related, she isn't Adams, no matter what, you know, I think that's something that I really love about this story as well is, is the idea of chosen family and how, even at the end of it, she chooses to be an Adams, no matter what, even though she is an Adams. <laughs> <laughs> what do you most enjoy about the process of doing voiceover work? Does it feel different when you're voicing a famous character instead of just an animal that you couldn't be in real life? Oh, a hundred percent. You know, you really, you really want to kind of what we were saying before, you want to get into the physicality. I think when you're being a person um, and you really want to try and personify them in a way where they feel human, you know, they feel like they can walk off the screen. And, and I think when you really get into the sweet spot of that, that's when you, you get to watch the film and you feel moved and you feel, you know, really kind of awestruck by the emotion. And then this one, for sure, like I, I definitely teared up at the end. I was like, oh, <gasps> like I, I was really moved by this by this uh by this take on this film do you know what's next for you as far as live action and us getting to see you in your form 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I, I have mother Android coming out, uh, here on December uh, 17th. So I'll be, uh, releasing a bunch of stuff on that pretty soon. And then currently I'm filming a show for Amazon, um, by the creators of Jonah, uh, Nolan and Lisa Joy, um, called the peripheral. And that's kind of sci-fi too, right? I mean, it sort of falls into, yeah. into that whole category. What, it's what very you, sci-fi, yeah. But what attracted you to that project and how, what kind of take on sci-fi is it? I mean, I think William Gibson is such a great writer um, and I've, I've always been interested in his writing. So it's a wonderful book. Um, and then bringing that into the, 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 the atmosphere of, you know, Jonah and Lisa who over at Kilter, they're producing this. And, you know, I've, I've always loved his take on on projects i've always loved her take on projects and i think they're really brilliant and they put together a, a really wonderful uh casting crew for this and and a great showrunner so you know it's my first foray into tv um and and i cannot wait for people to see um their take on this story and you know it, it really deals with pretty honestly with with pretty realistic ideals to what we're going through currently in the world and to the point of where when we're filming this we're kind of like oh <laughs> Are we actually not in a dystopian future, but, but we're just in a documentary about ourselves? <laughs> so it's been fun. It's been mind boggling. It's been tricky. It's been fun. And I think people are going to have their, you know, their, 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 their socks blown off a little bit by this one. It's, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky. Well, awesome. Thank you for talking to me about that and all things Adam's family. I appreciate it. Of course. Enjoy your day. Talk to you later.